Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Jim Barrett, uh, April 20th, uh, here at RJO Futures. Treasuries lower today. Notes and bonds lower uh, as stocks are busy reclaiming uh, most of Friday's losses, if not all of Friday's losses. I mean, some serious selling uh, appeared to hit the stock market early Friday. There was some confusion. Apparently, Bloomberg terminals were out on a worldwide basis. The Chinese had made some technical moves and uh, to slow down their overheated stock market. Uh, something about short sales and uh, maybe something else that escapes me. Anyways, ironically, it was Chinese news over the weekend, different Chinese news, of course, stimulus news, of course, which have changed uh, sentiment quite a bit here. And, uh, and yields are uh, rising uh, as stocks recover. However, we're still in the bigger overall range we've been in the last three, four weeks. It will take something uh, probably more substantial to break us out of that. Uh, a couple of issues which are keeping this trading range intact. The number one thing would probably be slower than expected U.S. growth. These economic numbers keep coming out a bit soft. Next thing, of course, is Greece's uh, unending travails. There's just uh, issue after issue there. and. Uh, no clear uh, way to fix the problem. This, of course, has got Northern European sovereign uh, uh, rates at ridiculous levels. I think the German bond is around 0.20. Um, with our 10-year note at 1.8, 1.9, I mean, it's hard to imagine our note not finding buyers given that huge uh, difference in, in, in value there. Uh, another thing uh, is worries about the Fed. Now, the Fed would like to raise rates. Apparently, Vice Chairman Dudley was speaking in New York today, still expecting that uh, uh, U.S. growth will pick up before the end of the year and short-term rates will likely go up before the end of the year. However, the market uh, uh, probably is not going to be too intimidated by that. It's going to be more uh, influenced, again, by the relative value compared to uh, us and the European rates. Uh, however, if uh, a couple of things happen, uh, I mean, that could change. One, th one deal is, you know, does U.S. U.S. growth actually pick up. I mean, it's one man's guess, Dudley's, that it will. That doesn't mean it will. The, the Fed, uh, the chairman of the Fed, Yellen, who's going to have the last word, is uh, said they're going to be a data-dependent Fed. All right, what kind of data is coming up uh, soon? Uh, obviously, there wasn't much today. Existing home sales Wednesday this week. Uh, Thursday, we get the regular jobless claims. New home sales on Thursday also. So we're really going to... Uh, see what the housing sector is like this spring here and durable goods on Friday. Uh, April 29th, nine days from now, another Fed uh, uh, committee meeting, open committee meeting. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, however, uh, I guess, I, I would guess we go to the Fed meeting nine days from now, it's still kind of locked in this range uh, that we've been. Uh, I can reach at 800-500-2461 to discuss any futures market. Please give me a ring. Thank you. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.